Hey, what's up? You're watching back, and today I am joined by my good friend Torta Ninja. You want to say what's up, Torta Ninja? What up? Today we're gonna be doing something special. We're gonna find out which one is the fastest Hoonigan crew car. Now we're gonna have five different cars this time around for Forza Horizon 4. That being the Tri-5 by Fire, the Chevy Nova, the Bronco, the Raw Welt Porsche, and the Twerk Stallion. Now, Torta Ninja, which one do you think it's gonna be the fastest Hoonigan? Well, uh, I do like JDN, so I'm kind of biased. So I'm gonna pick the Twerk Stallion. The Twerk Stallion? Now, why do you think the the, the Twerk Stallion besides the your uh your jdm bias because i'm i'm biased toward, toward the jdm as well but what makes you think the uh the torx town can win this i think it's in the name it just sounds very interesting i'm sure it's just a hunch more the, more of a hunch and the name itself just just a hunch and the name itself i think i'm gonna go with the porsche just because it has the highest pi but i think it's gonna suffer in one of the races now but what we're gonna be doing today is gonna be a best of three race the first race is gonna be at the horizon festival strip the second we're gonna be doing at the airport strip and the last we're gonna be doing at the beach the Horizon Festival Strip will decide mostly on acceleration while the airport strip really dictates on top speed. And if we can't really decide a winner, we're going to go to the beach. That will decide everything. Now, we're being joined by some rando here, but that's fine. Just say hello. Now, we're going to start off first with the Bel Air versus the Bronco. Which, which one do you think is going to win, win this one ultimately? Between these two, probably the Bronco. Probably the Bronco. I feel like the Bel Air, even though it's C class, it might take it. It might be a sneaky one and take it. But let's let's find out. Let's go to the first race. All right. So we're starting with the first race. Let's see how this one goes. I I, I think I think this one, the Bel Air, is gonna win it just on acceleration alone. I think the Bronco itself is gonna be a little too heavy. But we're gonna find out. The uh, Bel Air might win this one, but I think the the Bronco might have it in the next race. Not gonna lie, let's let's find out. Just hunking it away. Wow, the Bronco! The Bronco is actually really fast. Look at that. And the speed itself makes the strip the feel so much longer. But look at that, the Bronco won it by a second and a half. See how it does on the airport strip. I see you have a lot better better takeoff right there i'm about to hit 100 miles per hour here i'm at 97 there it is 100 yeah yeah you can draft me yeah honestly you can do whatever you want as long as we're racing stock we could do do whatever it is they gotta do to win so this time the difference was less it, as you can see right there on the times, it's actually 0.5 of a difference. So you did catch up. You were a little bit faster there. Right right away, the uh, the four-wheel drive of the uh, Bronco is really making a difference. I see the Bel Air back there just, just hitting the sides right there. The little yellow line. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Bel Air has no chance against the Bronco in this trip. We're still going. We're still going. I went off the track just a little bit, but... Eesh. Yeah, I think the beach just made it just so much worse for the Bel Air, but let's see, it's 1.3 seconds. I think that's closer than it was in the uh, the Horizon Drag Strip, actually. I think the Horizon Drag Strip was like 1.4, 1.5. So you were even closer in this one. Okay, so that was decided between the Bronco and the Bel Air. So I'm gonna remove the Bel Air from the list too bad the, the Bel Air, I think, was low class. It just what it wasn't gonna win the whole thing, but I'm gonna do a randomizer right now. The next opponent for the Bronco is gonna be the Twerk Stallion. Do you think that's gonna be a fair race? The Twerk Stallion versus the Bronco? It won't be fair. It won't be fair? Let's find out. So, if you wanna get on your Twerk Stallion, let's go back to the Horizon Drag Strip and let's see how the Twerk Stallion's gonna do. Now, as we can see, the Bronco! The Bronco! Oh no, yeah, look at that. The Turks Town is pulling up some horsepowers right there. It's pulling up some horsepowers. Oh no, oh no, yeah, no chance. No chance, right there. I thought the Bronco was actually gonna have it on a Hail Mary, but look at that. 0. 0.4. 0. 0.4. 4 tenths. The Bronco actually almost had it. I feel like it almost had it. All right, here we go. 
Here we go. Let's see how the uh, twerk and the bronco are gonna do. Yeah, the bronco just has a really good takeoff right there. It doesn't. It doesn't have the speed or the acceleration. And there, there it goes. Twerk stallion, just gone, just gone into the horizon. I can barely see it now. Oof, oof. The bronco had no chance there. So that was a s almost two second difference. That that is solid. That is solid for the Turk style. That thing just yeah, no chance. All right, here it is. Let's see if the Turk style can win three three and zero. Oh oh. All right, let me let, let me try straight. Let me let me stay straight. Oh oh oh. The Turk style is losing it right there. Oh no! Wait, is it catching up? Is it catching up? Oh, oh, oh no, what? No, oh no, 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 what? Jesus, the twerk salad actually won that one. I was losing a lot of control uh, quite a few times. I saw that. Yeah, I, I lost control right there. I hit, the, I hit the side, but I don't think that would have really made that, that much of a difference. But you won for by a solid second, by one solid second. You just took off right there towards the end. I really thought the Bronco was gonna win that one. Okay, so the the Twerk Stallion won the, the Twerk Stallion won three of those races. So I'm gonna choose r randomly the next opponent for the Twerk Stallion. Let's find out who it's gonna be. All right, so the Twerk Stallion is gonna go against the Porsche. Do you want to drive the Porsche or do you want to drive the Twerk Stallion? I will drive the Porsche. All right, so yeah, the uh, Porsche is 850 and the Twerk Stallion's 8. 38 just only 12 difference in pi but i think i'm not sure which one has a higher acceleration i didn't even bother to check i should probably check that i think the porsche has higher acceleration and most likely has better grip too so let's go oh yeah the twerk stallion no grip no grip there we go there we go getting grip oh oh am i catching up oh hold up hold up <gasps> no that yeah yeah the, the the Porsche won this one, but the Porsche only won it by two tenths of a second. That's that's really close. Two tenths. I mean, it's an eternity. Point two of a second is basically eternity in race in uh, in the terms of racing. But for this, because of the the large gap that we've been seeing, point two is actually really close. The airport strip might might see might see some someone else winning this. Okay, let's see how this one goes. Oh, still with a grip. It, it's straight though. It's straight though. All right, got that grip. Oh, oh, the twerk stallion. The twerk stallion is pulling up. Wow, look at that. The twerk stallion actually pulled up on this. Very nice. And the the, the difference is almost four tenths, so double what the Horizon Strip was. So the Porsche had the Turk Stallion by two, two tenths of a second. The Turk Stallion just got the Porsche at the airport strip by four tenths of a second. That's actually, I think that's the most even matchup we've had. So we're one and one. We're gonna go to the beach, and actually I don't know who's gonna who's gonna have the beach. I really don't know who who's gonna have the beach. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I gotta concentrate on that one. Yeah, the Porsche. Oh, the Porsche is just... Look at that. I'm still struggling to get some grip on the sand. The Porsche is gone. Gotta straighten it out. Gotta straighten it out. I don't think I'm gonna catch up. I don't think the Twerk Stallion is gonna catch up. We're approaching the end. The Porsche is out of just the horizon right now. Ooh, yeah. The Porsche got this one. The Porsche got this one. So the Porsche has won so far. The Horizon Strip and the beach strip so that's two that's two for one that's two for one the the, the porsche pretty much that won this one as as i thought it was gonna do it so, all right so we do have the nova it's gonna be the porsche versus the nova do you want to stick with the with the porsche or do you want to swap to the nova i shall get in the nova all right so that means i'm gonna be swapping to the porsche let's jump back to the horizon festival strip and we're gonna have the last race, the, the last set of races. Unless, unless you, wh whoever wins this one, let's say 
if the Nova wins this one against the Porsche, that that pretty much puts the Nova at first place, the Porsche in second, and the Twerk Stallion in third. Because I think, personally, I think the Porsche is going to win everything, and the Twerk Stallion should sit at at second place all right so we have the hoonigan porsche at 850 versus the nova at 765 i don't know man i don't think the nova can can have this one but with the nova fe being so good maybe the hoonigan nova could really pull this off let's see the the porsche good acceleration the nova's back there oh i just i don't think the nova's gonna have this just something tells me the nova's not gonna have this not as close as the uh, the Twerk Stallion had it. Definitely. Yeah. We're at 1.3 seconds. I don't think the Nova's gonna have this. It's it's kind of a weird last set of races. I was kind of hoping the Porsche and the Twerk Stallion were gonna be the last races, but it wound up being the Porsche versus the, uh, the Nova, and I think at this point, the Porsche is just solidifying itself as the, the overall winner. All right, let's see. Let's see if the Nova has any top speed to catch up to the Porsche. Now there is there is better grip on the Nova this time around. I'm going off a little bit to the left, but oh, I just don't see the Nova catching up. I just don't see the Nova catching up. A little far away. A little far away. I think I was going around 130 miles per hour that one. 130. Ooh, yeah. so 130 means that there's a difference of 1.3 seconds on on the airport strip. We're gonna be swapping for for the Torx Stallion versus the Nova this time. The Porsche pretty much has this one. That one's already gonna be first place. That's decided. So we're gonna go to see which one's gonna be second place. Yeah, because you, you had the Torx Stallion at the beginning, right? So maybe I think. I, I think the JDM, the JDM Torx, Torx Stallion is gonna have this one. However, the Torx Stallion is not JDM. If you notice, the uh, the driver is on the left, so I think it's an American RX-7. Okay, this is gonna be the final race for second place, which is kind of weird to say. Let's see who's gonna win this. Torx Stallion, I already see it pulling up ahead. I think the Torx Stallion pretty much deserves this. I don't think the Nova is gonna have a chance against the Torx Stallion in, a, in an actual drag race. I'm still drag racing. I saw you finish and I was still drag racing. I saw that. So we're seeing a difference of 1.5 seconds. I think the Torx Stallion has it. I think the Torx Stallion deserves that second place. I don't think the Nova can really compete. Even though we did the Porsche versus the Nova at the end, I just don't think the Nova deserves that second place. It was just kind of like happenstance that it got put against the Porsche for the final races. But, you know, just for the giggles, we decided. You know, just do one final race and do the Torx Island versus the Nova and the Torx Island just one second place. All right, so that is everything for the crew Hoonigan cars. Obviously, the Porsche won all of this. It has the highest PI, but I didn't think the Torx Stallion was going to come so close to the Porsche. But it's been decided. Don't forget to subscribe to see more content. We are going to be doing the Fiestas and the Escorts and the rest of Camp Block's cars in future episodes. So, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching. Do you have any parting words? Just remember, people, drive safe. Drive safe, take yourselves at each other, and as always, have a good one.